Hey everyone, how's it going? BZM here. So um, I got Windows being installed on my computer and um, I had a lot of people asking in the video where I got locked out of Windows. Uh, people were commenting and um, asking um, how I was doing and making all kinds of suggestions. I just wanted to show how I, how I ended up getting back into it. So as you can see, I have two Windows 10. Um, partitions here now the one on the bottom was Windows 7 so that's the one that I actually logged into Windows 7 and I was able to make a bootable um, media Windows media creation tool I was able to make a bootable uh, thumb drive off of that one and I believe this bottom Windows 10 one is Windows 10 Pro which I don't have a license for so I reinstalled Windows to um, to install Windows 10 Home, which is what I had before. So my Windows is activated. If I do this bottom one, um, it's Windows 10 Pro, not activated. I don't want the watermark. I don't want to pay for an activation key. I have Windows 10 Home Pro as more security features. It's better for businesses, that sort of thing. So you really don't need Windows 10 Pro as a just a regular user. So let's see, so my password now um, will work. And yeah, we'll just log into this. Let me go to the top one because the top one is my. Uh, it should work anyway. Let me see. I haven't tried logging into, the, into this bottom one. Let's see. It's supposed to log me in automatically. Aha! Uh -huh, look at that. Incorrect. But well, that one doesn't work. So interesting. So I could probably get rid of that partition. Now let's just start it again. And uh, I'll log into the top one because my password. Interestingly enough, it does not work on that partition. So yeah, so I don't know how I did that. A few years ago, I had uh, Windows 7 on a different partition, same hard drive. So apparently that's possible to do. But let me um, log back into Windows, the first one. And um, oh, you see, I also hooked up this um, bigger TV. It's like a 20, 32 inch. I don't know how big this TV is, but it's in place of the uh, monitor for now so when we play GTA 5 Left 4 Dead 2 when my son plays those games he can uh well hey it's a bigger monitor it's 1920 1080 so it's uh you know better resolution um so it looks looks better okay so let's do this let's do the top one now it should let's see oh yeah I gotta hit a so okay so this one doesn't give me the option of choosing in the left corner there, uh, two different logins. Pins incorrect, really. There we go, okay, now I'm back in, okay. So apparently the first time I put it in wrong, but that, yeah, that bottom one, so, um, didn't work. So another problem I had was I, I couldn't get my um, wireless uh, router, my wireless adapter, to connect when I log into when. When I logged into Windows 7, my wireless adapter was not coming on. It was not connecting to the internet, and you cannot make a uh, you can't make a bootable thumb drive if you're not connected to the internet. So I, I thought I was going to have to uh, install uh, the driver for my wireless um, my wireless adapter. I thought I was going to have to use the CD for that, and I don't have a CD. I'm driving my computer, and uh, so I don't have a. Um, no CD-ROM drive, so I'm thinking, well, how am I gonna, how am I going to uh, install a driver for my wireless adapter to connect to the internet? And I kept trying and trying, and uh, I eventually got it to uh, connect to the internet. So I, I probably could have gotten back into Windows a lot sooner if I kept trying with the Windows 7 install that I had. But um, yeah, I, I couldn't get the internet to connect. So I, I, I thought I was um, going to be at the mercy of having to go to the library to make a bootable uh, thumb drive or ask a neighbor. But uh, I finally went into the Windows 7 and um, was able to get that to work. So I'm very happy. Um, this is kind of temporary setup here, a little um, nice, little nightstand here, <laughs> a little thingy there for my... What the heck? Oh, little uh, stand there for the other monitors, kind of at an angle. But this works for now. 
and um, you can see your left you can see a uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 is gonna look a lot a Grand Theft Auto 5 is gonna look a lot better my webcam up there and I'm just using this because uh, well yeah it's a uh, anywho so that's uh, that's kind of it but yeah I, I would go through the steps of making the bootable um, thumb drive there's plenty of videos out there on it I just wanted to kind of show how I did it and kind of show the little temporary new little setup I have here so thank you all so much for watching hope you enjoyed it and if you want to see some Grand Theft Auto 5 uh, gameplay later I can certainly do that got some mods put back on here and uh, then uh, enhanced native trainer and some other stuff so yeah uh, anyway have a nice rest of your day I'll talk to y'all soon.